If the Qatari bid is successful and Sheikh Jassim becomes Manchester United's new owner, it will be done under the 9-2 foundation. That we know. But what do we know about the 9-2 foundation? What I'm going to do is run through as much information as we currently possibly have on it. There's more information that came out now that the 9-2 foundation is an officially incorporated UK business. But please do drop a like on the video. Give me 10 minutes of your time. I'll try it and give you as much information as possible. And this is a tough video. There's so many names and so much information going on in my head right now. I hope I can present it all properly. But please give me 10 minutes of your time and let's run through it. Now, the 9-2 Foundation. The first we heard about the 9-2 Foundation was, of course, with this. With the opening statement of the Sheikh Jassim bid to buy 100% of Manchester United. You can see down there, the bid will be completely debt-free via Sheikh Jassim's 9-2 Foundation. This is a company that was set up for this bid. It's a company that didn't exist before this bid. And it was kind of shrouded in mystery at that point in time. Now, of course, the man who's been at the front of all of this is Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani. All right. He's been the leading face linked with any potential Qatari takeover of Manchester United. What do we know about him? We know full well he is the chairman of the Qatar Islamic Bank. He spent time studying in England in the back in his youth. We know, of course... He is a son of former Qatari Prime Minister, Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabir Al Thani. HBJ and JBJ, that's what I've been calling them here on United People's TV. But there have been a few pictures come out. He's a United fan in his youth. 1992 was when he became a Manchester United fan. That's why it's called the 9-2 Foundation, either that or... You know exactly why they call it the 9-2 Foundation. And that was, that was what we knew at that point in time. And it's all been Sheikh Jassim. Kind of up until now, because now there's another name on that list, which we don't know enough about just yet. But this is where we're starting to find out more information. So this is the Certificate of Incorporation that was released yesterday. The official document on Companies House from the government. You can see 92 UK Holdings Limited, and it was incorporated yesterday, the 15th of June. We go down here, we see an address. We, that doesn't really, that's irrelevant. We can see down here as well, you've got Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani as a company director alongside somebody else that we will speak about in a bit. And that is Abdul Rahman Abdullah Al Ansari down there as a second director of, as well as Sheikh Jassim. So this is the first time that we have heard or seen his name. And we'll speak about him in a little bit. Now, you can also go across here to the Qatar Financial Center and see that 92 Holdings Limited Company was actually registered over there on the, what is it, the 20th of April was when that they were registered there. And both names, Abdul Rahman Abdullah Al Ansari and Sheikh Jassim Al Thani, are down as the two directors. So this has already been there since the 20th of April. And you can see there that the secretary, Fadi Bakos, is a name that we'll be speaking about a little bit later in the show. Curiously enough, I don't, I don't know why, I'm just curious. Uh, the registered address is the Palm Twin Towers, which are these bad boys. I don't know why that's interesting, but I just, I saw that, so I thought I'd bring it up. But let's speak about this man here, because this is the first that we've heard of Abdul Rahman Abdullah Al Ansari being linked to Manchester United. And now that he is down, as I said, as a director, both on the Qatari company registration and the UK company registration, we can assume he's going to be involved in some capacity at Manchester United. Now, he is a 32, and it will be 32 this year. I don't know why, again, I don't know why that's it. I'm just giving you all the information that I've got, that I found and I've researched. Now, he is somebody who has been working in the legal industry, if you want to call it that. That's where his experience lies. He went to the University of Leeds, got a bachelor's degree in law, and we can go on his own LinkedIn. What's he saying here? Versatile and result-orientated legal counsel and board member. We can see, interesting, if you go down to his experience, he's been doing a certain job that's confidential since May. I wonder what that possibly could have been. Previously, he was working, I believe, on the Qatari Olympic Committee for five years. He's got experience, but it's very much legal experience. That would be where, if he's involved, which he is as a director, that's where his experience lies. Now, if you go back to this here, and we can see that Fadi Bakos is down as the secretary of 92 Holdings in the Qatari registration. 
both of these men here, there, let me circle their faces, right? This here is Fadi Fakos, and that there is Shazad Shabaz. Now, these are the two names that I'm going to speak about now. We've already spoken about uh, Sheikh Jassim, and we've, and we've spoken there about Abdul Rahman. Let's speak about Shazad Shabaz. This man here, because he was involved, he went to Old Trafford with the Sheikh Jassim delegation, although Sheikh Jassim wasn't there. Um, he went there as, I'm going to imagine, not legal counsel, but more financial counsel. If you, if you, if you take a look at his, um, so he's been put down as, as the, uh, he's been referred to as the president of the Iron 2 Foundation. This was from the Daily Mail back, from Mike Keegan back in March. I haven't actually got any more clarity on that. This is what Ben Jacobs said at the time. He said, look, Shabazz is expected to represent the 92 Foundation a bit like Badad Egbali at Chelsea. He's somebody who's been working closely with um, Todd Bowley. So maybe that's where Shabazz would fit in. He'll then directly advise Sheikh Jassim alongside Fadi Bakos, as we all know now, is down as the secretary on the Qatari registration of the business. Now, a bit more information about, Shaz uh, about Shazad. Uh, he's got Bachelor of Arts in Economics, uh, worked at a variety of banks and investment firms since 81, 25 years at Bank of America, served as a CEO of the National Bank of Dubai. He has extensive experience working in the banking industry. That's where his role, I suppose, if you want to call it that, would lie in any sort of structure of the 9-2. One thing I would say here about all the people and then all the roles involved None of them are really going to be involved on the footballing perspective. We're talking purely from business here, like legal side of things, advice, finance, nothing to do with sporting directors or anything like that. That would all be appointments. This is just the actual structure of the 9-2 Foundation. Now, the next name on that list, as we go back to here and we say, look, Fadi Bakos, here. Fadi Bakos is somebody who, as you can see, Ben Jacobs reporting there is going to be an advisor for Sheikh Jassim. Now he is somebody who has got, look, let's bring up some more information on him. Lots of senior legal, corporate and investment advice. Again, 25 years plus experience in the industry. Both of these men were the two men that Sheikh Jassim and the 92 Foundation trusted to go to Old Trafford to meet uh, Richard Arnold and to go through the presentations that happened. They were the ones representing the 9-2 Foundation. And we now know that Fadi Bakos is down as a secretary of 9-2 Foundation. I can't see anything about Shazad being the president. I don't know whether that's correct or incorrect. But all of these men have been involved to date. Everything has been really around Sheikh Jassim. The reality is, if the Qatari bid is successful, you're probably not going to see or hear him much. You're just kind of be in the background. Maybe you would see a bit more of Abdul Rahman, considering he's down on the company in company's house as the director alongside Sheikh Jassim. So he will have some sort of big responsibility, you would imagine. But the decisions will be down to those two men. And from a from a a running perspective, Fadi Bakos is down as the secretary. And you've got Shazad Shabazz, who was involved in the negotiations, and maybe he will be the president if, as I said, the Daily Mail is correct, and he is the president of the 9-2 Foundation. These are the four names, as it stands, that we know have some sort of involvement. It's still quite... And murky is the wrong word, but we don't have that much information. We've obviously never seen Sheikh Jassim. At some point, that would have to change if the Qatari bid was successful. A new name here is Abdul Rahman. We need more information on that. The two men that we know and we've seen near Old Trafford, Fadi Bakos being the secretary and Shazad, maybe he's going to be staying there from an advice perspective. Both of them would be advisors. None of these are going to be involved in the, as I said, the day-to-day -day running of Manchester United like a, a new John Murtaugh or a, I don't know, a Paul Mitchell type character. They're strictly business. But this is what we know about the 9-2 Foundation so far. And when I have no more information, I will bring it to you. My head is absolutely fried trying, <laughs> trying to get all this information in it. There is so much going on at our football club right now. Look, I hope this helped you in some way, shape or form. Understand a bit more about it. And when there's news, I'll bring it to you.